Game Kings, the definition of game, documentary, coming soon. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Miles Cunningham, chilling at the beach, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, shout out to Lucario, shout out to everybody on the Bad Boy membership, everybody on the Patreon, on the Bad Boy show, the company show, uh, everybody that calls into the live streams and donates and... You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate you guys. You guys keep the show going so we can keep the game flowing, all right? So what I want to talk about real quick. Oh, and go get your t-shirts too. T-shirts are popping. Go get your t-shirts at the Teespring link in the description, all right? Um, but what I want to talk about today real quick is let them think you're arrogant. Let them think you're arrogant. You're better off letting them think you're fucking arrogant, period. You feel me? Let them think you're arrogant. Because here's what it is. When you're a guy who's confident and you're in touch with your value, a lot of times you're gonna meet you're gonna meet ancient people in general, but you're gonna meet a lot of ancient bitches. And they might look nice, they might have a fat ass or whatever, whatever. And you want you want them, you wanna get with them. But they looking at you and then they call you arrogant. Let them call you arrogant. Let them think you're fucking arrogant. You understand what I'm saying? You're better off. Because what happens is when insecure people meet confident people, they look at your confidence as arrogance. Because since they don't understand confidence in themselves, they can't understand confidence coming from anywhere else. You get what I'm saying? And those are not the type of females that you want in your life anyway. You don't want insecure bitches in your life, bro. You feel me? You want a chick that understands value and then starts to look within herself to increase her value and see what kind of value she could bring to you. You get what I'm saying? But when she starts to mistake your confidence for arrogance or she looks at your confidence as a negative thing, that's not the that's not the mind that's not the the type of chick you want that's not the the mind frame you want from a bitch that you're dealing with any bitch that you're dealing with even if a chick that you just fucking bro you feel what I'm saying you want a chick that understands value that understands confidence that understands what you're about you get what I'm saying and uh yeah man like because what it is you'll you'll end up filtering out these broads you'll filter them out you'll you'll realize that. You know, only you, you, it's two different kinds of chicks. One one that's gonna think you arrogant, and the other one that's gonna understand your confidence. You feel me? So that's 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 pretty much it, really. Like, let them think you're arrogant. A lot of guys is like, man, you know, I don't know all this, you know, uh, uh, man of value shit or all of this. I'm God to these whole shit. Like, I'm not sure, man. These girls might get upset and they might think I'm 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 too too confident or I'm overconfident or I'm arrogant. The bottom line is you're better off letting them think that shit, bro. You're better off because I tell y'all this all the time. I could care less if a chick likes me. I need her to respect me. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes when somebody sees you as having a lack of confidence or whatever, they, they take they take it as weakness. You see what I'm saying? They take that shit as weakness and they feel like they could take advantage of you. And a chick is just about her survival. You understand? God bless you if you meet a chick that actually love the per loves you for who you are as a person, as a man. But mostly these chicks out here is for their the survival. They're trying to survive. And confident men survive. And that's like, that's natural instinct shit. You get what I'm saying? But you're better off being on the arrogant side of it than on the, the just just barely confident or on the, you know, on the weak side or on the, on the lower confident side. You get what I'm saying? So... Don't worry about if they think they're arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, maintain your confidence. Me, I like to have uh, like a little, a slightly conceited but humorous way about me when I'm dealing with females. And it's on purpose. It's on purpose because I need them to know what they're dealing with. And I need to know if she understands what confidence is, if she understands what value is. So that's why I carry myself that way. And this is what I talk about when I talk about understanding your identity, understanding who you are, so you can carry yourself a certain way to filter out the ain't shit bitches. To filter out the bitches that's gonna waste your time. To filter out the bitches that you're gonna have to end up charging any fucking way. Even if you do get to smash. You feel me? Even if you do get to smash, you're gonna have to end up charging the whole anyway because she has no confidence and she has no, her mindset doesn't, doesn't compliment yours. Because you're confident, you believe in yourself. She's looking at you like, oh, something wrong with this dude. And like, no bitch, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you feel me? So. That's pretty much it, man. Let them think you're arrogant. Let them think you're arrogant. Let them think you're conceited. You're better off. You're better off. Because it's better to have respect than for somebody to like you. All right? So it's your boys. It's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Appreciate you guys. Get your t-shirts. 
Get on that bad boy membership. Thanks for supporting. Keep supporting. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know. Let me know if you ever been in a situation where you uh you you met a bitch and and you know you was trying to be confident and humorous and she took your she took your shit as arrogance or conceit. Let me know. Let me know if you ever been in one of those situations out here dating and fucking around with these chicks, man. Alright? So yeah, man. Get on, get on everything. Get on the bad boy membership. Get the game, man. Get the game. Alright? So it's your boy Miles Cunningham. Always remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.